Our story today is called Once Upon an Every Day. I've never gone to a sea in a pirate ship or worn a golden ring in my ear or had a parrot on my shoulder or dug up hidden treasure from a secret map where X marks the spot. But I once went fishing with the net and I didn't catch a single fish, but I found a frog as green as grass and wet as soap. And I tried to pick him up, but he slithered through my fingers and splashed into the pool. I've never chased a ghost along a haunted passageway or seen bats spread leather wings and flap through cobwebs while owls hoot. But I once walked my grandma to the shops all on my own. And I was so careful when we crossed the road and she bought me a glass of milk and a cake in the big store. I've never run away from home to join the circus or painted my face like a clown or driven in a car that falls to pieces or squirted water at my sister. But I once stood close to a bonfire as hot as holidays and as big as a house. And I saw the rockets burst above me in the autumn sky and I heard the thunder cracks and I watched the colored sparks pour down like painted fountains and smelled the smoke and tasted the explosions. I've never run with wolves through forests or climbed with bears and woods that hang above your head like arms stretched up or seen the moon ride through the night. But I once camped in the garden in a tent and dad slept next to me. He was startled when a rabbit woke us up and he thought he was in bed, but we laughed and went back to sleep. I've never breathed the smoke from a dragon's mouth or seen his silver scales or heard his claws scrape on the gray stone floor of a gloomy cave or cut the ropes that held his prisoner and watched the dragon circle overhead. But I once made my mom a ring out of silver paper and the smoothest button of glass as red as lips and clear as day and she wore it to a party. I've never surfed the ocean on a board and looked down through the rippling water to the world below and seen the jellyfish with streaming fronds or swum with dolphins or heard the whales calling to each other through the deep. But I once picked up my little brother and he held my finger as tight in his tiny fist and I rocked him gently and I sang to him I made him go to sleep when nobody else could do it. And that is the end of our story today. Thank you so much for joining me.